Crypto is in a really crazy position right now, with one altcoin moving a ton towards the downside, and that altcoin is TAN. Now, today has been a really crazy morning. It's not been like any other morning, and that's because a person that's extremely important for crypto just got arrested. And I think that's the sole reason, okay, that's 99% of the reason why cryptos are going down today, because Pavel got arrested and he is the founder of telegram his name is pavel durov and he right now is facing 20 years in prison for failing to censor his platform and like i said at the start of the video you might be wondering what uh oh press the wrong button you might be wondering what the platform is it is telegram and if you're not aware telegram is the center of almost anything crypto related it all goes down on telegram and the guy is a big proponent of making that a thing. But on the opposite side, he's also one of the top 100 Bitcoin holders. So him getting arrested is kind of like a double-edged sword. But for the most part, I think it's a jab towards people's freedoms. And that's why they don't like it. It showcases that if you're trying to do something good in a decentralized way or in a you know, non-conform way, they're coming to get you. And I think that makes crypto holders also a little bit scared. Now, if we're talking about the Bitcoin breakout, it still stands. Prices haven't come down as much where I'm fearful or where I think this breakout is now invalidated. What I do have to say, though, is that we formed a CME gap. And I'm not sure the exact price anymore. Um, but perhaps the prices are coming down slightly. That's that 1% as well. Um, because of us trying to fill a CME gap. If you don't know, it's basically the price where you end the week at so let's say friday when the stock market closes that's the bitcoin price that we look at and that's usually where things also get back to to basically fill the gap that's made over the weekend uh, from monday or somewhere forward so i'm just checking through yes pavel durov got arrested in france uh when he stepped off his private jet ton fell like 13 percent within a few minutes after that happened from six dollars eighty to right now i believe five dollars something just quickly gonna double check quickly refreshing this to see if this is completely true yeah so bitcoin right now down 0.27 percent on the daily uh ton is down 21 percent today at five dollars 30 so a pretty steep fall but it does also make a lot of sense it pushed cardano ada back in the top 10 though <laughs> so that's i guess quite nice if we're talking about some of the top gainers we really haven't got a coin that's doing crazy numbers i guess render is up eight percent so that's quite nice solana is up 1.4 but generally speaking here it's a negative day right if we're taking a look at it some of the coins like ton and not obviously are down like crazy but there's not really many crazy uppers today it's just mostly going sideways with a slight downward bias i think because of powell's arrest and because one of the top coins in the crypto space now also fell down like 20 percent in a day also as you guys might know i like xrp i've got some high hopes for xrp i do believe it'll kind of continue the run that we saw a few years ago so back in 2021 or back in 2017 in a similar fashion with some crazy gains but today i saw something and i'm not so sure if i'm the one being crazy or if this is just crazy but just just take a look this ladies and gentlemen is what i'm talking about again i do not want to call anybody out too much but i saved it because i was not sure if this is just a plain joke or if these people are absolutely crazy um well this person doesn't meet it with brad has it turns out xrp is hitting a thousand dollars in the next 24 hours now again why 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 would you post this what, what? <laughs> why it ultimately, it all does not matter that much because I still believe in this greater theory that again, over the next year or so, Bitcoin is going to spike towards a crazy all-time high. Then after that, altcoins will have a little bit of time to shine as well. But generally speaking, this is still the timeline that I believe in. And this is still the cycle that I really hold closest to my heart. And you know the funniest thing, guys? If you just believe in this cycle, and I don't want to make it like a faith thing, but I want to make it more along the lines of, well, it happened every single time for crypto in an extremely similar fashion. Why not this time around again? If you just believe in this cycle, all it tells you is just keep on buying regardless of how bad the dip gets because it will get better. And ultimately, any, I think, time you would have started this with the SMP or some of the other major indexes for that, for that matter, or a Bitcoin, this would have worked out nicely. There's a couple of counters. One is a crazy recession. Second is that the climate is changing because U.S. debt, for example, is spiraling out of control as we speak. Another could be that the bank system is losing its trust. 
Another could be that this is going to be the crash of crashes. So not a crazy recession, but the crash of crashes. Where the world reserve currency, for example, switches over because the U.S. has fallen behind. Such negative GDP, etc. Now, a counter to all that is that even though that might be bad for the stock market, it could be bad for cryptos, but it does not necessarily have to be. Similarly, with the U.S. world reserve or the world reserve currency switching over from the U.S. to something else, theoretically speaking, it could be quite okay for Bitcoin. Matter of fact, it could actually be quite bullish depending on how things go. And ultimately, I think also the position that we're in right now is where Russia is seeing all this happening, China seeing all this happening. They might kind of go a little bit of a Cold War style on us where they just push crypto that much because they're seeing the competition in the U.S. And they do not want the U.S. to lose its control over the current system with the world reserve currency, but then gain part of the system back by being the center of everything crypto related at least those are my thoughts I'm, I'm thinking that's one of the parts that might be going on here we're seeing part of the censorship of crypto stuff happening though where it seems perhaps they're doing this to take more control over all messages overall all these things that give people more control with arresting telegram's founder right now it happened in france though it's not the us's place uh but he's a Ru i guess he's a russian national i think so but i think he's estranged he, he's not going to russia in a while i, I not i can't confirm that not a thousand percent sure. I saw some articles, but I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I'm just thinking, though, soon enough, they'll probably go for Elon Musk or at least X as a platform. Then every other one of our methods to talk about all this crypto stuff, first of all, but also where you have more freedom to just talk whatever you want. I guess Discord, but Discord is kind of conform. There's a lot of regulations. There's a lot of censorship over on there. Whereas on Telegram, you find some horrific stuff on Telegram. <laughs> Damn, right? And the same thing on X. You can find some crazy stuff on there. Whereas Discord is a lot more moderated, I'd say. There was a whole list of which platforms they're going after, which is kind of interesting. TikTok first, uh, because of China, obviously. Then Telegram, and I can't remember the exact... Then X, and then there was one more in that little list. But yeah, soon enough, they'll come for us all. That is all I can say about that. Am I happy about it? No. I was kind of trying to quickly find that little, but I didn't bookmark it, so I can't find it. Am I happy about it? No, but what I know in the background is that BlackRock and all the biggest institutions are still buying Bitcoin, so it doesn't really matter that much. If we just hold on for long enough, it'll all wash over. It don't matter. And that's about it. I'm bullish.